Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We are a new character and I asked last time what we should do as our new character. What should be our objective? We're kind of at the point where we've achieved what we wanted to achieve in short term. So let's think about the next little bit of time. Well, there have been some suggestions and I think that people make a very good point. One thing that we're missing which would make us a lot stronger and would just generally be very good for us in uh, with a lot of different things is we're missing artifacts. We have very few. Our best artifact is maybe this Oster Warhammer that gives us four prowess, right? Like, we're not looking like we have a great number of artifacts and core artifacts are even worse. I mean, we have a throne, we have two banners and like, I think, on oh, two books, I forgot. Yeah, we have our books as well. It's not an awful lot of stuff. So, we should probably try and gather some stuff. The other thing that we have as our character is we have a lot of prowess and a reasonable amount of martial, which means that we're probably going to be good in armies, we're probably going to be good in tournaments. So, the plan, I think, is that we're going to raid, we're going to do tournaments, and we're going to try and gather a few artifacts, while at the same time gathering a few legend stuff and just generally advancing things. Um, one other thing that's been suggested, which I thought was worth looking at as well, is maybe grabbing some holy sites. Now, Perm is a little bit far away, right? It, it's going to involve a little bit more effort, but the one over here seems vastly achievable in Sh uh, Shelmo, or Shelmo here, right? Literally, it's just one province, and I think it's even in our de jure. Yeah, it's even in a de jure kingdom that we have, right? It's a very achievable province to get. And Carpathia, the empire next to us, has split in half. Why did it split in half? Well, because there is another empire, West Slavia, something that you don't often see get um, formed in game. But because Carpathia had expanded so far, they actually got split by Confederate partition which is actually a great reason for us, and I'm happy that we did it in hindsight, to have created our own empire, because if we hadn't created our own empire, we would be limited by the natural size of either um, Scandinavia or... No, it's the wrong one. Yeah, either Scandinavia, although that's pretty big, or uh, Russia, I think. Although, did we eat an entire empire here? Or does Russia just extend up here? I think there might be another empire that's used. It might be the Baltic Empire and then Russia gets the other half of it. But anyway, essentially, we would have been limited by the size of the empire until we got to the point where we no longer had Confederate partition. So, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. So, West Slavia, you have a lot of allies currently. Are any of them real allies? So, this one. Uh, that's in Carpathia, so that's a real ally. That one's also in Carpathia, so it's another real ally. And then that one's also in Carpathia. Why am I saying real ally? Well, if they're allies with their vassals, they're not really allies that are going to join them in wars. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, we would absolutely destroy them. We could try and get this one province. That's probably worth doing first. And then we can start converting it. Uh, because converting it does give us a benefit. It gives us a benefit in our religion. Uh, so that would be this one. So that would give us martial per level of devotion and 20% knight effectiveness if we can get this to be held by and be our religion. That, I think, is actually amazing. Yeah. That is this one, right? Chelmno... Wait, I'm assuming that. Yeah, yeah, that is this one. It's just got a different name because it's uh, culture names. Yes. I mean, this one is all right if the extra prowess and supply duration but it's just like not in the same league right so yeah maybe we want to have a look at that uh are we currently isolating from anything just see snow so that's the other side of our uh, country let's maybe hold court i see let's unpause for a month let it work out at all of the things it needs to work out with our strength then we'll hold court then we'll see whether we can do a tournament and if we can't do a tournament then we'll do uh actually we almost certainly cannot do a tournament because we have no money. Okay, maybe war with West Slavia, see how much money we have, then do some raiding, then get a tournament. Yeah, that's the plan. So, wait a couple months. Now it's worked out our actual strength, which is good. So now when we hold court, it's got all the right numbers. So hopefully uh, we can see good things here. My lady, murder is wanton in the city streets throughout the High Kingdom of... 
Gartheriki. It'd be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. Safety is each man learning to protect himself. Banning carry of weaponry will castrate the townspeople. So I would gain stress because I'm aspiring blade master if I wanted to ban weapons in cities. We can keep our swords, which gives us popular opinion but increases danger. I'm not really that worried about it. Or we do a fight to the, um, for this debate, which then gets popular opinion anyway. So these are both popular opinion, uh, except one gets this guy to like us by 20. Okay. Well, I will take the liking me by 20. So for 50 years, we get 5 extra danger, but we also get 10 popular opinion in every held county. Now, that I think is just our held counties, right? I hope so. So, uh, maybe that means that our votes are going to be worth more for 50 years. It's an idea. My lady, I regret to inform you that the religious situation in my lands is out of control. I tried to make my subjects see the light of our true faith, but too many of them persist in their wrong beliefs. I beg of you to use your authority and power to help me. I bet they just need a firm hand, says my brother, Sorkvir, with a dark smile. So I can send Guthrun... Peaceful coexistence is always the best solution. Sork fear, make examples of the disbelievers. That would lower popular opinion. Or well, that sounds like your problem, not mine. I'm going to send Sork fear to deal with it. A call to war. Ah, just what I was looking for. No, slightly sarcastically. Oh, munificent High Queen Drifa, I am Euphemia, and I have travelled far to ask for your aid in writing a great injustice. My cousin, High Chieftain Ruslan, currently sits on the throne of the Chevron cities, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyally until the end of my days. Alright, where is it? <laughs> okay, so that is a war against West Slavia. You're asking at the wrong time. If you had asked, like, you know, when we were not about to just declare war on them. Potentially. But you're actually also stopping my war. So I'm going to say stop, but you can stay at my court. I'm not going to say you can stay at my court. You hate me. No, go away. <laughs> I'm sorry. This person absolutely despised me before I did that. No, I'm not going to press their claim. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, somebody said that my, yes, my uh, religious person is bad, which is probably means we had a succession on it. Uh, I can put in Grodno. Grodno's about to die. I could probably put in this guy instead. Yeah. Let's put in this guy. There we go. So that should make some of our conversions happen a little bit quicker. Uh, do we have a better steward? We have people who could be better stewards. She's going to die soon anyway. We'll let her just... Uh, you know, work the last last four days. Right. He's in a couple of wars. He's defending against this one. He's defending against another one. Fantastic. Well, we're going to add to his problems. We're going to declare a war. Now, oh, we can't do a de jure war? Or I assume we can't do a de jure war because we haven't unlocked it? Uh, we should also have a look at our culture, actually, given that we're running it. Um, and see what we can do with that. Another thing with culture, if we get the option for a cool culture merge, or we see something that we like in another culture, of which there are many around here, but if we see something we like, or there is the option to get one via legend, immediately we're going to jump at it. Because really what we want to do is we want to get a culture that we like, and um, stick with it, and then just modify that culture, right? And then spread it everywhere as soon as possible. Uh, it could be that we stick with Norse and we just edit that, given that's basically our culture now because uh, Norwegian and Swedish and Danish now exist, so we basically got it for free. But, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, innovations. One nice thing about merging cultures, though, is that you can get multiple innovations at the bottom from other cultures. Uh, there you go. Cassis Belly. Uh, de jure county Cassis Belly we don't have. Ah, alright then. Uh, we're currently getting this one. Counties now reach the maximum existing development penalty at 20 development. That's not a problem. Oh no, we're currently working on moats. This is our... F ah, okay, sorry. My mistake. This is the one we're being exposed to and we're getting naturally. This is the one we're working on. That makes sense, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think there's not really anything to do there. Right, we'll leave it be. We don't really have enough development that we're getting these in, you know, a reasonable amount of time anyway. We 
we can have a look at it once we start actually generating a reasonable amount of tech. Right. Declare war. Conquer county. Uh, Chelmno. And let's declare war. That's all I want. Just the last bit that's inside my, uh, this kingdom here. I'm going to raise an army. Now, there is a small disease here. What disease is that? The Swedish boils. Ugh. Okay, we might want to stay out of that for now. Let's rally point over here. And let's raise our troops. And let's find uh, somebody to lead them. I guess you could lead them. That's fine. Right. We've given birth to a daughter. Ingerther. Who is an Amazonian. Fantastic. That is a great trait. Okay. That seems good. Uh, you've made somebody like me better. Well done. My new, uh, Queen Ear is my new player heir. Really? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that she should be my player heir. Why, why is she getting this one? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the election. Uh, she's not winning any of the other elections. So vote score. Queen Ear is ahead by three. Okay. Anyone I can force a vote on? Nope. Okay. How close are some of these guys? So minus five. Well, why are you voting for someone else? She's an unproven spoiled woman, my candidate. Okay. Um. And you like your other one because pretty much the same reasons, just minus the unproven spoiled woman. I'm not sure what causes that one. Let's have a look at who my heir is. Uh, I should put my heir at the side so that I know who they are. That's a good idea. Yeah, so my half-sister. Unproven spoiled woman. Does this mean she hasn't been in battles or, or something? Could be the lover's pox? Potentially. Uh, let's have her lead an army? I don't know. Let's see if that gets rid of the problem. I don't know if it will, but we'll see. Maybe she'll get a trait which uh, helps with that. Right, and march her in. Five months left. Cool. Oh, I forgot to check. Did anyone else have another reason for uh, not voting for her? Oh, wait, that went down to a zero. Um, okay. Might not be in the same person. Might be in this one. It did say unproven spoiled woman. Yeah, it was this one I was looking at originally. Okay. Another zero. Oh, but you are support. Zero means you're supporting. Okay. My mistake. Minus seven. Foreigner's puppet. So is that because that's because you're a different culture? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you don't like it because we're voting for. Her. That was. Yeah, an unfortunate one. Content dislikes brave. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's a great reason. I don't want to vote for her because she's brave. Temperate dislikes drunkard. Uh, unspot. Yeah, the unspoiled one again. Okay, what else have we got here? Stubborn, stubborn drunkard. Just every trait mismatches. Uh, this is the one we've already looked at. You. Again, you're. Uh, just a little bit against it. Is there something we can do with our opinion? It's our current opinion is not really helping. Is that people liked us more, they'd be more likely to vote for her. I guess we need to not die. Disease recovery? Uh, I guess we'll spend the money to uh, rebuild it. That's fine. Anything in here? Uh, no, it's just saying we're in debt. Okay. Now, that disease is completely gone, so I think we're going to actually take control of that army. Because uh, we have the dynasty thing that makes us more likely to uh, capture people. I guess it would apply to our sister as well, but... Yes, I specifically wanted to capture people there. Because they might be worth money. There we go, 15 gold. Are, are you the worst the most? There, there's a couple worth 15. 37, there we go. We're no longer in debt. Get 15 there. 
We now have uh, taking war score, by the way. Because we control the war goal. So that's good. Thank you for the 15. You now continue getting a little bit of money off of these guys. Demand artifact. You would like to become the owner of the Oster House Banner. That's a bold move. I'm going to say no. And I am in charge of the dynasty, right? Yeah. So, like, no. Prisoners can be ransomed. Continue getting my 15 gold. Nice. Another one. Another 15. Great. Okay, I've lost my master of the horse. Queen Freydis, my player heir, uh, is now in charge of Lith Lithuania. How did you become in charge of Lithuania? She died. Oh. She was murdered. Okay. What what do we think to the odds that um, Freydis murdered her uh, or yeah, murdered our sister? I think the odds are pretty high. Okay. Well, we need a new marshal. New marshal is going to be I Guess it's gonna be Freydis. There we go. That seems fine. All right, we'll we'll leave her to it. Queen Ear has been murdered. Yeah, we kind of knew that already. We're overwhelmed by stress. Hopefully, we don't. Oh, we don't get a stress event because we've already had one recently. New hybrid culture, and now we are just about to get that one. Nice, and we captured some more people. Anyone worth money? 75 gold. I'll take 75 gold. Thank you very much. Let's head back here a second. We've lost our wet nurse. We have lost our steward. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put in somebody good as a steward here. Just because I, I, I want to convert culture quickly. I'm going to get 15 gold there. And then we need a... Oh, we have lady in waiting positions that we uh, have not filled. We should probably fill those. But wet nurse is more important immediately. Let's go with Signy for that one. Right. Back over here. Greasing mouths. A vassal often clamors to gain the attention of their liege, but for once that particular table has been turned. Your rune would be such a boon to have as an advocate for a new high king. I must make every effort to get her on side. I must think carefully about what would be best to catch her eye. Perhaps a promise of investment in her holdings. Maybe a simple promise of a favor. My eyes drift over to... Pinikis's saga on the other side of the room. Would she be swayed by a gift such as that? Prestige 0 0.08 and hostile scheme resistance? I'm not going to give her that. Give her an investment. Relish's favor should shuffle. Or she'll follow my lead regardless. I'll take the 15% chance she just follows my lead. It's fine. Task finished. Convert the faith. Wonderful. Where are you converting the faith next? Uh, let's try and get rid of some of this old um, Ukonusko up here. Let's try and get. Oh, this they're not part of my realm. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, let's try and get rid of the stuff that's in my realm. Yeah, that, that would do. Right. Uh, that's fine. Although, actually, I think it was CK2 let you convert outside your realm. It was something like that. Um, it wasn't like full conversion, but it was like you could convert individuals outside your realm. There was something weird with that. It's been a while since I last played it. <laughs> um, but yes, not in this game. Uh, oh, and then stay where you are. Perfect. Right, spread out. Let's get a little resupply going, and then we can go to the next place. Strategical impasse. If you have high prowess, you simply choose the top option, and you get a ton of bonuses. So, we'll take it. It just means you are better. None of them immediately need to be acted upon, but there you have it. You would like us to be an ally. Um, sure, we'll be an ally with you, Colbyorn. That one seems fine. Who have we got here? Corellia would like us to be allies. Okay, I'll take your alliance. Those seem like fine alliances. Uh, we're not going to call them into this war. Seems kind of unnecessary. Oh, are they moving up to us? I like how they're in all these other wars and we're basically just sitting here just letting taking war score do its job. Oh wow, they're in a ton of other wars. Yeah, we're just letting, uh, you know, just letting it slowly move up. I can't help but pace restlessly as 
Fyodora readies provisions for his visit to the court of Alexei, my neighbouring ruler. Fyodora is expressly tasked with spreading the word of a new High King, preferably being able to corner the King and persuade him to join the cause. Poison Grace will be needed for this task and perhaps some other make weights. So you can say, use your wits. I can add some gold to it, or don't mess it up. Use your wits. It worked. Okay, so who Ruthenia is starting to spread it. How is it looking, by the way? Uh, our legend. Uh, it's not really spreading that far. It's in 21 baronies currently. It was suggested, actually, that we could potentially speed it up with a musician. Uh, because they can perform this legend spread chance thing. Which, again, makes fantastic, make fantastic sense. Or we could do this one and try and get other people to promote it. But let's take the legend spread chance. Let's go for my court chronicler. You can do both jobs. And then court musician. Yes, try and spread uh, our legend around a little bit. Maybe that will help. Because we're promoting it enough where we might just not... The, the spread chance might just be low. You know what? We should take stalwart leader. That's something we should definitely take before the uh, leading armies because it will stop us from dying. Seems like a good idea to me. Right, go to the next place. You know what I should be doing here, really, if I'm going to do this correctly? Should be splitting the army up and then moving this remaining army out and then just having them resupply. Because it's not like they're actually fighting me. So, yeah, I might not want to spread too thin because they still have an army. But we could do something like this and then just simply um, move when they get here. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Queen Gunhildur's court now speaks Norse. Awesome. Okay. Continue our uh, siege. Now taking Plock. Uh, we should probably lead this army if we can as well. Just find the one that we're leading. Move Commander. Sign Commander. Head to the next one and everyone else can just move along here. Uh, head here, and then head, like, uh, here. We'll see where we end up. I think we'll work pretty well. The map. This means somebody's plotting to kill us. Well, that's not good. Um, not really a lot we can do about that. I guess we could try and raise hostile scheme resistance. Although we already have two things that raise it pretty high. You know what? Was there something else that gave us hostiles? Yeah, we could get some ladies in waiting, and that would give us some hostile scheme resistance. Uh, let's go with... What, what, what do we get here? Diplomacy, skill, and honest. I'm going to go with Guthrun. And we're going to go with uh, Mora. Yeah, and they should hopefully give us a little hostile scheme resistance. Coveted claim. Burger, my steward, frets all through the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, as we make our way to dine, he begins sheepishly. My liege, they say Jarl Ear, your vassal, takes her purported claim to your lands more seriously each day. Is she not dead? No, it's Latgalians. Different, you're all ear. Okay. Um, she maintains that she is personally wronged by your continued rule of her rightful domain, Osel in particular. We become rivals. I shall write to her at once. It's treason then, or inconsequential prat um, prattle. I'll say it's inconsequential prattle. She was bluffing. Okay. And we are not rivals. That's what I like to see. Um... New person joined the war. Okay. Uh, because the previous one is dead. The previous ruler. Okay. Well, I mean, this current ruler is still in a ton of wars anyway. It's not like they're going to come up here and deal with it immediately. Although it does look like we need to resupply this um, army. So let's send these two down here. We can actually sit in the enemy territory. And then uh, we can split up this army again. Ooh, you promoted culture in Kexholm. Fantastic. So, let's promote culture in the next one. Wherever that is. So, where was Kexholm? Ah, uh, it, was, it was another holy site I think we were doing. Ah, uh, now we need to think about where we're going to put it. Um, We could try and in, uh, eliminate individual cultures. That is actually quite a good idea. We can eliminate individual cultures within our realm. 
then we can eliminate their factions entirely, which is quite nice. The other option is just eliminate a little bit off of all the cultures and then none of the factions will be that strong. Um, I don't know, let's go for... Um, I don't know why I'm having... I'm having indecision here because all of them are equally as pointless to us currently. How about we go with this one? Chosen because it's next to our capital. There we go. Right, uh, merge. Uh, merge these two. Then, uh, station besiegers. Then, put this person in charge. Then send this guy off over here. Right. Uh, what was it in here? Oh yes, we got a new sword for prowess. I'm gonna destroy the sword for the money. It's not really good enough to keep. More prisoners? Anyone worth any more money? A hook? A hook? Nope. Not really worth money. That's fine. Being neighborly. Theodora busily, uh, busily jots down my uh, notes as I dictate them. I must be careful of my choices. Arpad, my neighboring ruler, could be swayed to support my cause in spreading the word of a new high king. But the wrong phrasing may come off conceited, perhaps? I pause. Theodora does too, patiently waiting. What would he want to hear? So is Arpad the person I'm currently at war with? You could send him a threat? I mean, yeah, uh, that, that would probably work, given we're at war. You ought to send him a little threat. He just missed my threats. Oh, well, there you have it. Um, Yeah, how much? We got 22 baronies currently. Okay, that's fine. Hey, we don't don't really need to worry about that too much. I would just let it tick off in the back. In the back. Okay, what happened? But whoa, we have a Bohemia. Nothing in this world is certain, especially in times of war. The Gertheriki conquest of the chief chiefdom of Chelmo is no different. How did Bohemia get this? Where did this appear from? He inherited it. Okay. Uh. Okay. How did you end up with everything? How did you end up with all this? It was probably a subjugation war or something, right? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Um, my goal is still the same. Yeah. And, in fact, I think it's exactly the same because they hold exactly the same land. It must have been a subjugation war. Anyway, they're in a ton of other wars. They don't need, you know, they're not going to come up here and deal with us. We might as well just continue our sieging and getting what we can. Right, uh, where's this? It's the other side of the river. No, I'm not that interested in that one. Let's continue just sieging. I'm gonna go there, 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 and there. Cool. We'll just spread out. The legend spreads. My court uh, musician, Fyodor, reads, uh, greets me this morning, eager with news on the tip of his tongue. My High Queen, I believe that High Chieftain Mord Vinko of Kazan is almost convinced of the veracity of a new High King. He is aware of the tale and seems enraptured by it, but is unconvinced of the truth behind it. So we can try and persuade him, bend the truth, or he may think what he likes. We will bend the truth. He started promoting it. Wonderful. So we're still at 24, but we have five legend promoters. That's nice. I pause and write and pause and write. The words for this missive must be chosen carefully. Any loose phrases for my message to my vassal, Utyaika, Ut will not be looked upon or will not be looked kindly upon, but her support of a new High King would be a boon indeed if I get it right. Let's see, what is something that she would approve of? She's driven, uh, tale of revenge, be as truthful as possible, or phrase in a way to flatter her. It's a diplomacy challenge no matter what. Her diplomacy is equal to ours, which is funny. Okay, so now we're just looking at these and seeing what her personality is gonna be. So she is temperate, brave, and ambitious. Maybe flatter her? Ambitious could be flattery? Sure. Hey, it worked. Wonderful. Uh, rival released, rival imprisoned, rival imprisoned. Okay, whole bunch of things happening that we don't need to worry about. Okay. How is it looking with our legend? That looks exactly the same as last time. Uh, over here they've got a dragon child. Well, that sounds like it's got a lot more going on than ours, but that's okay. Right. Uh, where are we again? We're down here. Right. Still have taken war score. Level of splendor of our dynasty just went up to reputable. 
fantastic. Long rain, but it's also going to make our artifacts a little bit better. Um, your neighbor has lost a war. Denmark has lost a war against my, my spy master in their conquest of uh, Rafala up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, my vassals are still expanding, which is uh, interesting. They're, they're going to keep expanding and expanding and expanding due to our um, religion having warmonger. So, yeah, we might not need to do anything. Our vassals will just expand for us most of the time. Also, thank you for the 75 gold. Appreciate that uh, there. We will uh, put it to good use. Anyone else got any money? Nope. All right. Well, back to sieging. Are we in charge? Uh, yep. Which is good because we want to get as many prisoners as possible. Our alliance ended with this guy because he's dead. Who holds uh, island now? Some random child of Lithuania. Wait, of Lithuania? Oh, okay. This is the f child of my uh, niece in Lithuania who is now dead. Oh, interesting. I wonder if she's in line to anything. Wait a second, does that mean you're an Oster? Oh, wait a second. No, that means we hold it. Wait a sec. What? Okay. How did that happen? Wait. <laughs> yeah, so you got it. Is it... Oh, because you already held land within... You must have already held land within our land? Like over here somewhere? Yes, so she already held land. She already held the Duchy of Lithuania. So therefore... Oh, wow. We expanded all the way over there. Okay. So we no longer have the alliance, but we actively have the land. This is going to be end up being like one of the fastest world conquests, and it's going to be all our vassals. <laughs> like, that's, that's the current path we're taking, is we're doing nothing, and our vassals are just like, hey, I got a new kingdom for you. Are you happy? Go on. Didn't even, didn't even realize you were uh, making plays for that. Anyway, 56 gold. 15 gold. Good. A little bit more money. Alright, let's merge over here. Are we actually at war with this person? No. Who are you? And you're Sweden, but like, why, why are you, like, looking at the land that I've already sieged? Hey! Convert the faith. Let's send him off somewhere else. You're gonna convert the faith up here. Cool. Right. Continue merging over this side. Not really sure what they're doing, just sitting there. It's a little disturbing. That's okay. Let's head over here. Okay, they're gone. Um, one of my rivals is dead. Who is dead? This person. Okay, I didn't know they were my rival. They were killed by High Queen Mellet. Alright, well, good. I guess. Um, we had another 4% here. I'd love to just uh, win this siege and then end the war. Hey, there you go. The banner upgraded and we get a bunch more stuff on the banner. It basically does what it did before, but better. Hey, thanks for the 15 gold. Legend promoter joined. Freydis of Lithuania has now joined our legend. Wonderful. Uh, can grant vassals to rightful liege. I'll worry about that in a second. Uh, can I get any money off of you? Nope. Nope. Okay. Finish the siege. We're going to finish the siege because we can, of course, capture more people, which we, of course, did. And then we can end the war now. Right. Disband. When did I get you to start um, converting? A while ago. You know what? Change my mind. Convert Chelmo. Uh, and then that should be good. Right. Uh, prisoners taken in siege. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of money for these people now. No. Nope. Okay. What, oh, you're actually really good. I think. Maybe, hmm. Maybe not. I was looked at it immediately and thought, oh, you're better than a normal prisoner, and I'm just considering, like, no, I don't, actually don't think you're that good. I'm going to execute you. Public execution. All the main counties gain zero control. Well, that seems like it's worth doing. And we get held public execution in our capital, which gives us 15 popular opinion. More votes for us. You. Not good enough. Executed. He's got friends and family. Oh well, that's fine. Eugenia. 
37 gold. I'll take it. Um, You. Any good? Nope. Alright. Executed. You. Nope. Alright. Executed. Give me my uh, gold. Nice. So we end up about 100 gold up from where we started. That's not too bad. And low county control in Chelmo. Well, guess what? This uh, is part of a duchy. Masuria. Do you have a, somebody in charge of that? You do. I'm going to grant that land to um, them directly. Fantastic. Right. That seems good to me. Who can be granted to the rightful liege? So like Galeans to Lithuania. Then we have you can be given to Savo. So where is this? So this person can be given to Savo. Ah, so somebody created the Duchy of Savo, and you would like that person to be your vassal. That seems reasonable. I accept. And then we have grant this person to y'all a Ingolder of Finmork. Where is this? So you hold some land over here. Where's Finmork? Is that over here as well? Finmork has two duchies, including Yamatland and that. Yeah. Uh, you hate me? Wow. Okay. Well, that doesn't really fill me with a great desire to um, give you this land. So I'm not going to. That's fine. Right. Uh, close that one down. Elections. How's it, how's it looking? Freydis is number one. Okay. Because Freydis is voting for herself, I assume. Yes, in fact, nobody else... Wait. Let me double check by vote score. Okay, we have a few other votes, but yes. Basically, nobody else is getting any votes now that she gets votes as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a few people who actually have any votes and... Well. You know. <laughs> It's, it's uh, us and a few select others. That's good. Are you, is she inheriting everything still? Yes. Wonderful. What does it say from the Realm's Confederate partition? It's our half-sister. She wouldn't get anything from Confederate partition. Only our children would. So why does it say Confederate partition? She doesn't get... She gets these because uh, she's winning uh, this. She doesn't get these from Confederate partition. Anyway. I'm not going to argue with the game because currently it says that everything is fine. So, we'll take that. Uh, activities. Um, nobody is doing a tournament. Can we do a tournament? Let's have a look. In Novgorod. We would do a dueling tournament because that's something we would be good at. Dueling or wrestling? Um, let's say dueling. Okay. Costs a little much for us currently. Uh, we can wait on this then. Oh, I can get rid of the forest guide. Yeah, and then... Let's say we wanted good prizes. Wow, that costs a lot. Okay. Well, if we want good prizes, we're going to have to pay for it. Uh, let's maybe go for a little bit of a raid. Probably can't raid Bohemia because we have a truce. Maybe Ruthenia? Nobody else will be raiding Ruthenia, right? These guys aren't raiding them. The guys over that side are probably too weak to raid them. Yeah, they seem like the perfect target for us to go and raid um, pretty much without anyone else being uh, yeah, in the running. Let's get some troops raised and let's go raid. What's this? Prophet in the halls. Repent, repent today. Learn the truest truth. Step into the light. Since Katar Zina joined my court. Her persistent attempts to convert everyone to her foreign cult have become the background noise to my everyday life. Day and night, she stalks the courtyards, patrols the hallways, and hides in wait for unsuspecting passersby in dark corners, ready to persuade them with her insistent screeching. My courtiers are exhausted, and after Katar Zina um, ambushes me on my way to my chamber pot, I'm inclined to agree with their discontent. And say we can tolerate this, get the fool out of my court, or she can preach to the rats for all I care. Which would imprison her, and we could potentially convert her. Do we think she's good enough to have around? Yes, I would love to convert her. I'm going to imprison her. And then I'm going to say, hey, you can leave as long as you are my religion. And she will say, no. 
Hmm. I didn't really expect her to just say no. You know what we could say? Give me a weak hook. Okay. New martial perk. Uh, new martial perk. I'm going to take... Prepared conscription lowers the cost of our army being raised, which seems good right now. Offer concubine. You'd like to offer me... Um, Gactu as a concubine. I'm going to say no to that one. Uh, but we should probably grab some concubines at some point. Maybe we'll see if we can find somebody on these raids. Anyway, um... Let's see, where was it? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so notable for them. Uh, the person I just let free. Yeah, you. Can I demand your conversion and then use this? I can. How much do you hate me? Quite a lot. How about I send you a little gift as well? Okay, well, I mean, that every little helps. 64%. It's better than, you know, 100% no, which was our previous best offer. Head in here. She agreed to convert. Wonderful. We fixed it. Uh, negotiate alliance. You would like an alliance. Uh, you are my vassal, right? Effectively. Yeah. Alright. I'll take an alliance. I'm not that bothered about it. Do you remember? So tell me, my lady. My court musician, Fyodora's voice, snaps me out of my thoughts, and I find him waving his hand, the quill spilling ink all over the floor. What about that time that High Queen Drifa of... Uh, Gartheriki began the annexation of the chiefdom of Chil Chilmno, hel held by High King Saba of West Slavia. That is surely worth adding to his legend. And see, that was a great occasion, or I don't feel the need to bring that up again. I don't feel the need to bring that up. It's not really related to his legend. And it was also a very low cho uh, chance of succeeding. You're my vassal? You would like an alliance? Alright. I'm, I'm very... Um, you know, open to alliances right now. Just, I'll take it. Right, head up here. Next one. Okay. Nice, next one. Wait, is that where the Chevron cities are? Wait a second. I thought when we looked at this previously, the duchy was over here. Oh! That person was probably asking us to attack this land. I just didn't expect them to hold land in both places. Wait, no, but this was under West... This was under the West uh, guy's land, wasn't it, originally? I don't know. Th th things have gone uh, weird over there. I think we still made the right choice in saying no, but that's fine. Worthy. And now I'll listen, I'll listen, a new High King. The clamor of my courtiers fills the room, the sound of cutlery banging on the table and raucous laughter. A doubtful thought haunts me among the admiration of my court. Am I worthy? I think I am. Yeah, we'll take the stress hit there, that's fine. How many uh, baronies is it? 41 now. Ooh. Yeah, you can see that spreading. That's all over the place. Okay. Nice. Right. Head to the next place. Uh, we bring a very, very small amount of loot back. Wait, are we not leading this? No. Okay. Let's lead this. That might get us less uh, legend events, but we'll see. Hiking Driffa. Please tell me of your legend. I've traveled many days and nights to hear it. So we can get Denmark to start promoting it. We can get Askel to start promoting it. I shall convince my people or I shall be a hero for myself. Um, let's get him to start promoting it. Okay, that seems good. New faction created against us, probably not very strong. Uh, you might as well go here first if you're having to walk through it to get to the uh, next province. Okay, the legend spreads. Who are we trying to convince this time? Um, we're trying to convince this random person. Let's try it. We, we convinced him. Wonderful. How many legend promoters do we have now? Nine. Okay. Cool. My executioner is dead? How did he die? Of old age. I did, however, gain a lot of stress because of that. Okay. Um, I don't really like profligate. Uh, I think it's not very good due to you losing 10% of your income. Irritable is also not very good. I'm going to take the 44 stress and hope that we get a stress loss event. We're very angry and we found the doll. Uh, we can either give it to Ingerther, my daughter, or Kraka, my daughter. Well, Ingerther is the one that has the um, genetic trait that's good, so we're going to give her the, the doll. Right, let's head in here. Do a little bit of raiding of uh, this land. 
Nice. Next one. Who lost a war? So that was Finland lost a war against my vassal in their conquest of Totma. So I'm assuming up here somewhere. Oh, in there. Yeah, so my vassals are continuing to eat away at Finland bit by bit. Okay. Head down to this bit of Chernigov. Prisoners taken in the siege. Who have we got? We have the High Chiefess, and we can get 44 for her. Let's do that. And then we're going to make our way into this bit of land there. Wonderful. Right. So we got 44. We can get nothing for you currently. But, I mean, we could just keep you in our prison for now until somebody offers us some money. Seems good for me. Right. Head up here. Next one, Fire and Blood. Let's see, bring me Bounteous Plunder, or we've taken enough. Uh, bounteous Plunder, I need more more loot. Next one. Okay. Nice, we need to uh, let our troops um, resupply, so let's bring them back, disband them, and then let them re-raise. Seems good, we captured a prisoner. Is he any good? Uh, Not really, no. Okay. Head back. Anything in here? We can designate a guardian for my daughter. She wants to do a learning education. I'm kind of happy for everyone to just do whatever education they get given to start with. Because um, we have so many people in our dynasty right now that... Yeah, even if they're doing one that's not ideal, somebody else will be doing a good one. Unless they're somebody who I'm like, they're going to be my heir. You know, I'm not too worried about it. We do need to do something that lowers our stress at some point, though, because we are going to die. Um, let's let's worry about that. Uh, let's host a grand tournament. Host it in Novgorod, and let's not go for the absolute best gift. Let's just go for something. Let's do a jewel. Or best um, prize, I should say, not gift. Let's go for... Fine prizes. Okay. Do we have a champion? Uh, you are an acclaimed knight. We could make you my champion as well. Yeah, sure. Why not? You can be my acclaimed knight and champion. Seems good to me. Right. Um, we are fine with simple pavilions, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And then we want to triumph. Yeah, costs us nearly everything we have, but that seems good. Yeah. Right. And then we just kind of let it go. Let's see. Three months till this begins. Hey, my um, sister got angry, so we lost some stress, which is great because we need to lose a little bit more of that. The tournament is open. How long do we can do these things? Two days. Tourney grounds is a great start. A strong man show. Lively noises make me discover an improvised arena set up by local peasants where two burly wrestlers are putting on a show. They trade blows, weave, duck, and circle each other until one of them makes a daring move. I call this one the Flying Pivot, he screams before lifting his opponent and slamming him into the ground, making him yield immediately. Ingemar, the sensible and stunning, victorious, yet again, the victor gloats. So I can lose stress, or I can study their techniques. You know, I think losing stress is probably valuable right now. I think that seems good. We're going to qualify either way, so we might as well take some stress loss. Uh, tavern says it will lose you stress. Let's go to the tavern. Uh, dare to drink. The local pub is rammed with bodies, as is expected when the tournament rolls into town. Amongst all the newcomers, though, there sits a man who is clearly fixated on the... or is clearly a fixture at the establishment. He eyes me with suspicion as I sit down. What are you doing here? He finally blurts out as my drink arrives. I turn to face him. He rises unsteadily to his feet. Forgive my presumptions, my lady, but I reckon you couldn't handle half of that, let alone all of it. So we can lose stress, but we have a score decrease. Or sit up and shut uh, sit down and shut up, you hopeless drunk. I'm gonna drink with him. Lose my stress. My score decreased greatly, he was right, I could not handle it. But we did lower our stress, which is quite nice. Tourney grounds? My champion stands assembled for the day's training, their attendants laden with kit. Um, Luthi and myself stand before all. Champions, what you do not know, ask humbly to be taught, urges Luthi. 
Today we represent the High Queen. Let us together prepare for our glories. He turns to me, eyes gleaming. Command us. So I can improve all of my knight's scores and my score and get extra glory on the champion of conquests, which seems good. Say, so draw your swords, which gets us experience, and we gain the trait Hastlidur, which is good, but not as much there. Or, champion to your keenness of both um, eye and mind. So that's, that's uh, the different um, traits there, basically. It's the same, but with different traits. Uh, I'm actually going to take this one. I want to get the trait Hastlidur so that we can uh, start gaining more experience in it earlier. There we go. So we now have that, and it also gets us a ton of opinion, because we just gave it to every knight that we have, which is good. Hey, more people arriving for the tourney. That's good. Uh, three days till we can visit any locale. Let's go tavern again. Um, I have to say no to these favors. Uh, wait. Let me just double read what this says. As a prayer for my upcoming match, I spot Sigbjorn hailing me by waving a handkerchief around, offering me his favor. Before I can respond, Chief De Saga of Play Linen appears, holding a handkerchief out for me and insisting I take her favor instead. I have a match to focus on. Um, that's fine. Also, I was just checking there. Yeah, okay. Just interesting that it was two genders, and I was like, hmm, I wonder uh, why that was, but uh, it's not going to tell me. Uh, that's fine. I was wondering whether potentially it was based upon our sexual orientation, which it doesn't appear to be. So, interesting. Because I think every time I've had it as a male character, it's always been two women. So, I was just curious. Favor of a Lord. We can get rid of this one for Favor of a Lord. I believe each one of these gives you extra score. So, I'm just trying to make sure that we have these if we can get them. Uh, let's get rid of that for now and take favor of a lady. Fantastic. So we have favor of a lord and favor of a lady. And they will increase our score at the tournament. Uh, which starts in four days. Okay. I am ready. I'm going to face my half-sister and champion, Sigrithur. Who's actually in this tournament? I should have a look here. Uh, so we have Nikita of Raven, a random person. But, uh, who have we got? Queen Freydis, um, against Freericker, my nephew. So everybody in this one has insanely high prowess. We have King Frithricker of Finland, 31, against Ulfhilder, my niece, 33. Nikita, the random guy, against Kohler of um, Ebenberg. Okay, wow, this is a very, very stacked tournament. I am ready. And then, of course, we have us versus Sigrithur. I'm ready. Okay, I'm not going to cheat. Quarterfinals, a handy opinion. Hammond in a split second. As our blades clash thunderously, the hilt of Sigrithur's weapon slips past, smacking off the back of my sword hand. Reeling backwards to gain some space, I clutch at my hand with my free one, sword held limply in front of me. The throbbing pain radiates up, radiates up my arm as I wriggle my fingers curiously. It appears to not be heavily damaged, is, um, if it is at all. But inspection is tricky as I weave backwards to avoid a blow from the advancing Sigrithur. Um, with she grins, clearly seeing an opening, clearly seeing an advantage, and sails another blow just past my flank. I can't simply dodge forever. My hand will need to be dealt with one way or another. Queen say, "Ha! Huh, you think I only train with one hand?" Uh, Princess Bride reference. We get Ambidextrous, which gives us prowess and uh, Aspiring Blade Master trait experience permanently, it appears. Okay, cool. We get a great score increase and we lose stress, or we get a bad event. So I will choose this option. Wonderful. Um, is this one the one where it's. Yeah, this is just the one that's the same at the end of every tournament. You just choose whichever one of these has the highest percentage score at the top, which is when must remember my training. And it looks like we won. Fantastic. We got through round one. It's a good start. Victory. So, uh, Fririker, my nephew, has beaten Queen Freydis. Now, that's actually a little bit of an upset. He had slightly worse prowess, although... His other stats are also worse. Okay. Never mind. So he kind of got through a little bit of the underdog. They were kind of equal, though. 
Uh, okay. So it's Drifa, us, Furiker, Ulfhilder, uh, and then Kohler also got through. So the random person it told us about did not get through. So we're against the easiest person in this round um, by a f serious margin. And then Ulfhilder looks like they're going to be the most difficult one and they're going to go against my nephew. All right, I can do this. Calculated gambles. Time slows as Kohler's sword arcs in overheads. A uh, harks. Time slows as Kohler's sword arcs in overhead, blades singing through the air. It is no insignificant blow. If I stay where I am, it will do me more than enough damage. The matter should be a simple one, as such a wild attack leaves its instigator open to a counter. But there lies a nagging feeling in the back of my mind. The grimmest snarl Kohler had as he launched the blow was. Understandable given the effort, but I fancied the tiniest glimmer of satisfaction in it. His eyes, too, almost seemed to dart towards my side as he set up the move. Is this all a feint? The blow nears me, it's time to act. And say, I've got you now. And we get a huge score increase if it works. I'd rather block than chance the counter. Okay, and we get a slight score increase. 1% more likely. Or I'll live to fight another day. The negative, however, is a lot less bad, but I'm going to take it anyway. You gain experience in the scar trait? Oh, is that new? That feels new. Anyway, that it has experience rather than just being a trait. But I'm going to say I've got you now. Uh, my counter blow worked. Fantastic. Uh, remember our training. It's the same one every time. It doesn't matter who you're facing, as far as I'm aware. And we have defeated him. Great. That was to be expected. He was the weakest person still in the tournament, and we were the second strongest, so. Um, Ulfhilder disarmed Furiker and forced him to concede. Ulfhilder is through to the final, my niece. She is a serious challenge to us. The positive on our side is that one, our prowess is better, and actually has become better over the course of this tournament, I hadn't realized, and our other, our martial and uh, learning are better, which means that we're gonna have, a, actually I th we think it was martial prowess we were using anyway. But yeah, essentially our our event at the end is going to be better than hers because her stats aren't as good. So, okay. I can do this. Playing to the crowd. Thunk. My body thuds into the wooden wall at the edge of the arena. Ulfhilder having bodily hurt hurled me there with a snarl. No sooner had she done so than Ulfhilder's face morphs into a smug smile and to my astonishment he turns away from me completely. Raising her arms to the baying crowd, she curls her arms up and flexes in the imitation of a traveling strong woman. The cheers from the crowd redouble. Those fickle peasants are eating it up. So we can do the same thing and get a score increase and lose stress. Uh, or we can do nothing. Or we can uh, hit her in the back, make her hate me, and get a slight score increase. I'm just going to take the score increase and a lowered stress amount. Fantastic choose the same option. Yeah, it's Prowess and Marshall we're using. I was thinking we're using... Actually, this one doesn't even have learning. I must be thinking of a different tournament. Anyway, this is fine. We lost! No! In the final! That's horrible. Didn't even get our thing. I can, of course, disqualify her if I want to, but she won. She won. Confounded. Ah, dear. We are no longer wounded as well after that. My champion Skjöldvor didn't even qualify. I forgot she was my champion. Is she actually good enough? She was good enough to qualify. She just didn't. Oh, she's also now infirm. Oh, that's probably why she didn't qualify. She probably didn't enter because she was infirm. Okay. So she gains a ton of stuff. We gained a little money, a little prestige, which to be fair isn't very much given that we paid 50 prestige for the tournament and 108... Uh, sorry, 230 gold, so we didn't really get very much back. We do gain Duelist for five years, which gives us prowess and prowess per level of fame, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. There we have it. Oh, wait a second. As she's a landless knight, uh, knight your, her liege, you, gains more prestige and more gold. And she donates her money to us. And she splits her prize money with us. So we gained a little bit back. Not a full amount, but we gained a little bit. And she gains a ton of stuff for five years. So close. So we can try and give a few words, but there's no re Well, I mean, it's only 75 prestige if we fail, and it's actually a 44 is not that bad a percentage, given that there's no negative. 
So yeah, let's roll the dice, see if we can get a little extra opinion. We didn't. And that is the tournament over. Okay. Well, that wasn't ideal, but yeah. You know, we tried. Uh, I don't think I need you as a concubine. We need to find some concubines. What's an easy way to find a concubine? Well, what we can do is we can invite people to our court and then make them our concubines, whether they want to or not. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, yeah, that's probably the easiest way of getting people around to do that. Uh, can we force our vassal? Let me just check something. Can I force my um, courtiers to unmarry? So if I go on courtiers, try and find somebody who isn't related to us, like you. And I say, no, I can't force them to have a divorce. Okay. The reason I was checking whether I could force them to have a divorce, uh, it was I was wondering whether we could do that and then make them our a concubine afterwards, but no, you cannot do that. Which, you know, is probably for the best. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.